everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching episode 4 of Young Royals. Last episode it was the parents day and we had everyone's parents besides Wilhelm going to the school and all having a lunch together and we found out some more information about some of the characters. August's family has money problems and they can't afford to pay his tuition anymore unless he liquidates some of his father's assets which he won't do out of pride. Felice's mother is trying to get her to hook up with Wilhelm and that kind of explains her motivations behind wanting to be with him. I don't think she necessarily wants to be with him but her mother has put this idea in her head that she has to be with him. She was mainly asking about him, she didn't really care about her studies or anything or anything about her. She was just saying, so how's it going with Wilhelm? She clearly doesn't care about her daughter that much, she just cares about her status. And Simone and Sara's mum was a queen as always. I love that she, she didn't seem like all meek and shy because because she's a poor mother she just walked in there and was completely normal because you can imagine in that situation you feel quite self-conscious with all these elitist people there probably looking down on you but she just she went with it and she started making conversation with everyone she was just an absolute icon I love her Wilhelm and Simon were planning on having a nice weekend together. They initially planned to stay at the school but once they found out that August was staying they decided not to and so they were planning to go to Simon's house but then at the <laughs> at the end news broke out that Prince Eric has died and I don't know what this means for the rest of the show. Obviously Wilhelm is now the crown prince and he's going to have a lot more responsibility with royal stuff <laughs> but I don't really know what this means like does he have to uproot his life like leave school is he still allowed to go to school as the crown prince this might sound really stupid but I know nothing about royal families especially not the way it works in Sweden I know it's definitely going to cause issues between him and Simon because like they were only just starting out anyway and I think his royal status was putting him off entering into anything with him because of the complications that could occur but him being the crown prince oh my god not to mention the fact that he's lost his brother who was like the one person he had a close relationship with in his family I cannot believe it I hope this episode isn't too sad because I don't want to see Wilhelm sad again if you want to watch my uncut reactions to young royals the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and for now let's get into episode 4 is he not even allowed to carry his own brother's coffin? Oh my god, it's televised. Oh, everyone's watching him. You in mom, om du vill och det känns bra så så skulle du kunna vara med på morgonmötet så vet du hur det går till. Already? Men sen jag var nyfödd så visste jag att jag skulle ärva kronan av pappa. Det är tid att förbereda mig. Det hade ju Erik också. Men nu är det du och dina framtida barn som kommer att efterträda mig. Oh, I hate this. Five thousand five hundred, and he only got five hundred. Jag tog Men de de, de har rätt att höja betygen om man betalar privatlektioner för att Förstår inte, jag hade tänkt betala det, det är lugnt So much of this episode, I'm gonna be so mad with already But I hate the injustice for them Ugh, they got into that school because they're smart And I bet they could so easily be kicked out if their grades aren't up to scratch Trots ner don't tell me she wants him to make Wilhelm feel better. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's all he needs. For God's sake. Okay. 
I don't think so. I thought they already did that in episode one. Now everyone's eyes are gonna be on him even more because like the whole funeral's been televised and everything. They've seen like every aspect of what he's just been through. What the hell is that? August, stop it! My god. Oh my god, no. They're not singing. Oh, down history, baby, let me write you. I love this song as well. You just wanna be Every time Simon sings, Wilhelm is happy. Why did they have to parallel it with this? Tacka för en vackra körsången. Min bror var snäll och omtänksam. Han var min förebild. Now he has to live up to that. Och jag tänker följa hans fotspår och bli en kronprins som min familj kan vara stolt över. I feel like he's gonna push him away. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to send SMS. I expected that, to be honest. I can't hold up on me anymore. It's a very natural response in this situation, especially considering like his family on about you're my successor, your future children and whatnot, and. If he's with a man, children isn't always guaranteed and stuff like that. There's a lot to think about here. He's basically got to live in the future or constantly thinking about the future, which is the exact opposite of me. I never think about the future because it scares me too much. Oh, bless him. Well, that's the moment that hits me hardest out of them all. Lo vad ni säger till om det finns något jag kan göra. Is that because he feels like he can't hug his family? He's not close enough to his family to be able to hug them like that and then he hugs that woman. Eric used to be the person he hugged. Oh. The thing is, is I can't blame him for any of his actions. I don't like it, but he doesn't like it either. He doesn't want to do this. Snälla, snälla. Kan bara få en sekund bara för mig själv, snälla. Vad gör ni? Ja, eh, en ritual grej, en, en reningsritual som hon tvingar mig på. Does she need to be cleansed because she slept with August? Ingen fara. Hon glömmer det. Det är bra. He's so nice to her. Hon sa att man skulle bli varm under ritualet och det. Ska du med eller? Ja. Negative energy, I ban thee. Negative energy, I ban thee. That was cute. I hope she doesn't take all his nice gestures the wrong way though, because he did reject her last episode. And I forgot to mention, I stand him for rejecting her and not leading her on. We love a future king. <laughs> oh, has he been drinking? Simon, you can't just take all his pills though. For one thing, he probably needs them and that's why he has them, but also... Oh my god, who is this? This is a regular thing? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Someone! <laughs> Are they together together? Was it royal? Did she just say? <laughs> also, these drugs, you don't even know what they're for. They're completely random. Oh god. Blackmail. <sighs> I don't know about this one. På föräldra lunchen jag visste verkligen inte. Det var inte meningen jag jag var bara ärlig. Man måste inte alltid säga allt. Jag vill inte att vi ska vara vänner. Inte heller. Oh, 
like, yes! I was expecting her to say we never were, and I was bracing myself for that. Yes! Varför vill du säkra mig? Vi pratade bara. Okej. Vi pratade om oss en bror. Erik var som en bror för mig också. Det vet du. Ditt uh, fokus borde vara på att trösta mig så att jag kan trösta honom. What is that logic? She can be his friend as well. Obviously I know she does like him and he just kind of does have a reason to be jealous. Yes! <laughs> that doesn't excuse his possessiveness though. I can't believe he just tried to extract Wilhelm's pain onto himself. Whoa. The plan is working? Uh oh. Oh, that must hurt him because he doesn't know what's going on. He is such a stalker. Not everything is about Villa. You talk about him a lot. <laughs> Don't try that shit. Uh, ew! No! What is going on? Who gave you the right to just do that to her? Good, I'm glad he is paying back. He's done. Okay. Don't do that to your child, what the fuck? You know that it's for my ADHD. I think it's dumb in the head. Oh, it is ADHD medication then. I'm going to stop using it for my and Sarah's sake. It's so damn pathetic. I always feel so bad for the dad. Addiction is such a hard thing. I have with full majority voted for that I would give you Kronprins Wilhelm. That place that I had earlier to you, Mr. Erik. Mm. Sällskapets ändamålsbeskrivning verkar för att förhindra utslocknandet. Ja, det är svårt. Så so these are like the top, top people of the school then, in terms of status. Det finns egentligen två krav för att bli en val här. Man behöver vara adlig och förstfödd man. Adlig och förstfödd man! Okej, okay, but he's not. I don't like this. These people are such bad influencers. Det var dåligt på namn, jag kallade, jag kallade Bergens kung för, för Rudolf. <laughs> Han sa det här är Rudolf, kan vi byta? Jag vet inte. August would love that. Den här bilen man inte gasar på om man inte får känna hur det känns med vinden liksom och att ner cabbat. Jag sa det till honom. Jag ska inte fungera som människa just nu. För att, för att min bror är liksom död med jag... It's no. Wow. I imagine that throughout the whole first sequence of episode one, Wilhelm was doing that in his head. What is he doing? <laughs> Why have they left him alone somewhere? Does this mean he had his number no. memorized? I thought he deleted it. That all thing is fake. All thing is fake. All the bad is fake. In is like some used fast button. He's high out of his mind. No, oh, he's going to get him. Oh. Är du hög? Vad fan har du tagit? Sätt dig upp. Sätt dig upp. Kom. Oh, he's so short. He came. Du är så fint. Jag menar, han är. He's so cute. I love him. This is the hug he needed. I like that they had him stay but not like completely sharing the bed because Wilhelm wasn't in the state for that. Mm. 
Why can't it just be like this all the time? He wants to be the big spoon. <laughs> oh, I love this. I, it feels so bittersweet though. Little kid. Where they shoot these scenes are so intimate. Whose window is that? Wait. Who the fuck is Alexander? Oh no! <laughs> no! Living for this. But. Uh, mm. His face is fully in it. Regardless of who it's with, why would you film that? As you said, he's the crown prince. I swear to God, if he does anything with that, I will personally fly to Sweden and kill him myself. Why would anyone in their right mind film that? No matter who they are to you, whether they're a stranger, a friend, your girlfriend has a crush on them, never ever film anyone doing anything without their consent. First off, that violates so much. Not to mention, if he spread that anywhere, it would be child pornography. Also, he was like laughing. He was like, oh, the crown prince, oh, getting dirty, whatever. And so he decided to start filming it. So to do what? So he could be like, oh, I saw you. What was his intention? He could just say to Wilhelm later, oh, I saw you with someone. You don't have to film it as proof. Or was he planning on sharing it? I don't even want to get into his mindset. He is an asshole. <laughs> and now he knows. There was so much August this episode and I didn't expect it. And I hate him more now than ever. He is so possessive of Felice. He kissed Sara so randomly. I suppose he was probably trying to make him feel better. Like, oh, if Felice is out with Wilhelm, I can kiss someone else. But Sara did not look into that at all. And he kissed her without her consent. She looked so uncomfortable during that. He's just filmed someone without their consent. And I bet, I bet he will share it. The one good thing he did this episode was pay Simon back, okay? And he had that nice moment with Wilhelm while they were pissing and screaming but that was it that does not make up for everything else that he's done and oh my god it's gonna be a thing of like he sees Wilhelm walk with Felice and he's like right that's it and he posts it everywhere and if that got out in the media oh my god <gasps> oh my god no 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 <laughs> I'm stressed I'm stressed I'm stressed I'm stressed for Wilhelm here oh my god oh <gasps> wait oh god is it gonna come down to the like whole thing with simon like simon blackmails him no but he's paid him all the money back simon shouldn't continue to blackmail him because i think he's given all the money back hopefully if he hasn't and simon goes to blackmail him again then august's gonna be like <laughs> well i know a new uh teenage boy who could give me so much anxiety wilhelm broke my heart this episode Oh, when he hugged that lady, I don't even know who she is. She's one of the school people. I don't know if she's like the head teacher or something. The lady that was showing him around and saying that she's there. Him hugging her, that tugged on my heartstrings because we didn't see him like hug his family properly. And so it's as if he feels like he can be vulnerable in front of her and not his family because his family expects him to fill Eric's footsteps and whatnot and he has to be strong and the perfect royal. I guess he feels like breaking down in front of your family isn't part of that. I don't know, but 
that kind of spoke volumes and that hurt and then that scene in the football field oh i love that he is <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> but then when simon came and he was like you came like oh my god thank you for coming and he was so shocked that he came because he truly cares about him and they're so wholesome when they're just together having moments like that and then the morning scene pre-august when they were just spooning and then they said they liked each other oh this is what dreams are made of this is what reality should be for them and it makes me sad that they can't live happily like that at least not now maybe not ever <laughs> i don't know i'm scared for the next episode and what august is going to do with that recording i mean he should just be happy it's not felice come on man so that's it for today guys thank you for watching my reaction to episode four of young royals if you want to watch my uncut reactions to young royals the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for episode five bye